about physical versus digital, because I'm in a conundrum. <coughs> Joe, well, you had something to say. Uh, no, that, I mean, you were talking about you were talking about like <laughs> calling out your mom and dad. Hashtag phony. Yeah. And, uh, and, and so, I, you know, there, yeah, I, cause, I, you know, I try to, when, when, when I'm, you know, spending money on something, I try to justify and reason, like, you know, it, it, is, is this a reasonable purchase? Oh yeah, like, same. Like, the, the, I wanted to go to this, like, dream concert, you know, it, it, you know, with the, with the dream lineup, and, uh, it, it, it was gonna be, like, next to $300, and I was like, you know, as much as I want to go, I can't, I can't justify spending that much. Well, lucky, you know, as luck would, would have it, <laughs> the plague of shadows hit, so I'm yeah. not going anywhere anyway. Yeah! <laughs> but no, it, it, but there are certain things that I regret buying. Like, I, I spent, I'm ashamed to say how much, but I spent a lot of money on a certain, you know, package that I, I, I barely touch. Package? Like, yeah, uh, it what? was like, for this band called, uh, Muse. Yeah, I've heard, uh, you told me about Muse. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah, they're, 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 yeah, yeah, they're, 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 they're a pretty big band. Mm -hmm. Uh, but, They're uh, kind of a big deal. <laughs> I see. Which comes with a vinyl, a CD, an art book, you know, all, all the whole nine yards, and it, it has sat on my shelf for a long time. I see. So th th that's you know. I get that a lot with my power metal CDs, a little bit, just because I don't use CDs in general when I because. Yeah. Like, like the uh what's it called? The uh Oh my god, the Criterion collection. I Oh, for Godzilla? As much as you spent on that I didn't spend anything on it. Good, that was a good investment because you've been watching it for years. I didn't spend any money on that, Joe. I got it for Christmas. Well yeah, same with the this isn't a good example. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, but do you see what I'm saying? Like, it's, it's something that you're not gonna be, like, it's not just a phase. Cause like, I have tons of things where like, I think I'm like super into something, and then by the, by the like, next month, I've completely forgotten about it. Uh, Joe, I think we can both say I've, it's a little bit more than a phase for me and Shantae. <laughs> Mostly because I, I think did I ever did I show you the pop vinyl <laughs> that I got? Yeah, yeah. I, or, wait, no. <laughs> <laughs> I'll show it off between episodes, but yeah, it's it's super nice. I I, I still stand by like, when I heard that was coming out. I was like, all right, I'll take it. I didn't expect that to happen. Yeah, right. <laughs> Yeah, right? I'm super happy about it. But, uh, it's it's also a really nice build, too. It's a nice pop vinyl. Ooh. Like, I thought it would get one of, like, the, like, like Walmart rate value discount brand clearance aisle. Uh, like, the, 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 uh, the, the U2s. That's what they're called. U2s. Oh, see, see, that, that's how, that's how obscure they are. You don't even know about them. So, yeah, the, the figure guy doesn't know. <laughs> so, like, they're, they're very detailed figures. Like, I don't mean to knock them. They're not like the, like the dorbs. Oh, uh, do I don't like dorbs. Yeah, uh, but, like, YouTubes, I feel like, are, like, the alternative to, like, to pops. Because, like, uh, like, uh, who has them? I, I, I want to say Joe. 
Yontron has some U2s. Like, uh, he, like, he owns them, or he has them of him? Like, like, in, in his shop. Uh, but I think most of, most of them are, like, it, like, funny enough, they have limited time runs. Uh, and you're okay with that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, I want to say Pyrocynical has some, too, but I don't, I don't, I don't think you really know much about him. But... Hey, Joey. Yeah. You want to see the most anxiety-inducing level ever? Oh, my God. Look at this. Cold Revenge? Cold Revenge, yeah! Ah, oh, ah, oh, ah, hee, hoo, I hate it, I hate it, Joey, I hate it. I hate it, Joey. It's lulling me into a false sense of security. <laughs> So, come to a decision by the end of this what do you think? Because <laughs> uh, here's the thing, here's the thing, I was thinking about it, and I'm like, so I've been waiting for this, so it's, I've already been waiting for this game, it's already been out on Apple Arcade. Yeah. It's been, it's coming to console on May 28th. If I pre-order this physical copy, it's gonna, it's, it's not gonna get here till August. I got that, but like, at the same time, Take, for example, you know, we, we were talking a few episodes back about how, like, uh, you know, the, when, 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 a, when a, like, a, a director needs to, spe to, to uh, delay a movie, like, we're fine with that because you know that you'll get, her, get, 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 a, get a better project. In yeah. Movie. You know, I feel, I feel the same way with this. Like, I mean, No. Okay. It's so, just a you know, it's just a case, a cartridge, and a manual. That's about it. Okay. Now hold on. Now if you were to get the physical copy, would you only get the the, the normal, or which are you debating on the on the collector's edition? I don't think I'm gonna get the collector's edition just because I don't feel comfortable spending that much money on a game I haven't played yet. That's what I'm leaning towards too, a little bit, just because ah, it's. Because like, if, you, if you're getting the collector's edition, you might as well get. You, you, you see what's in, like? You're already getting a physical, so you might as well go down that road. But if you're just gonna get the normal edition, and it's, and it's the same thing as the digital. You know? Yeah. Yeah, especially because I really want to play this game. Have you heard about this one? One of the big selling points is that so it's kind. It uses similar assets to Half Genie Hero, yeah. which you know some people complain about, but I'm like they're good looking assets. <laughs> so I don't really I don't much care. Yeah, yeah. But the big thing is they're gonna have like fully animated Saturday morning cartoon style cutscenes. Oh, that's neat. Right. That's neat. And I've been, like, avoiding spoilers like the plague on YouTube. Because it was so funny. So I didn't know it was on Apple Arcade. But I found, like, I found people had, like, full walkthroughs and full cutscenes. And I'm like, how? <laughs> how are they getting this? Eric, did you just say the plague? What? Did you just say the plague of YouTube? Did I say plague? You did. <laughs> I meant... <laughs> I meant like pl pe people on YouTube. They're, they have full playthroughs of it. I'm like, how? <laughs> but yeah. then I, f I found out it was on Apple Arcade. All right, yeah, um. yeah. So I'm pro and and if I get it digitally, we could do like a uh, we could do like a day one let's play of it. Yeah, that's the other thing. Like, and you won't be out of the loop when you're playing it. Exactly like right. Yeah, so probably lean. I'm yeah, I'm leaning more towards digital now. Okay. Just cause like, I don't know. It's like if I got. <sighs> I was about to say, 
It's like if I got, like, a figure or a poster or something, like, you know, that I would... I, I like... This is a game series that doesn't get a lot of physical merchandise that's easy to get a, get a hold of. The pop vinyl was by far the easiest one. And they've actually got a plush! They have a plush on limited run games that I kind that I kind of want as well. How, question, how are we, how, are we, uh, how are we doing on time? We got, we got like five, four and a half minutes left. Oh, we, we just skipped some dialogue, I think. Yeah, I know. It's fine. We're just, we're just gonna play till the end because this is the final boss, so. Damn, I was, I was gonna give it a pizza goblin voice. The pizza goblin voice. Can you even read what's on screen? <laughs> okay, now I'm gonna do the voices. No! Stop your assault, Plague Knight! Look, I've brought someone! Plague Knight, come to your senses! You don't need to go through with this! Mona, you don't understand! I was too weak to say it before, but now I can show you I'm good enough! Black Knight told me everything. You don't need a potion to win me over. You already have! What? But it's too late! I already defeated the Enchantress and began the final distillation! <laughs> oh, I was too late! I must go after her! You two touch nothing until I return! Where is all this power coming from? This wasn't in our notes! The essences are reacting unpredictably! Watch out! <laughs> Oh shit, I have to fight me! <laughs> uh, <coughs> Literally, I'm fighting myself. Oh, you're fighting another Plague Knight? Look at this, it's like Shadow Plague Knight. Oh, because they redesigned him to like... If you if you compare the, the sprites, it's not the same sprite as in the actual game. Yeah, they changed the sprites. Well, this one I'm using the amiibo, so it's a it's a really different sprite. Hey, I beat him. <laughs> nice. Nice. But Joe, I think we all know that's not the finale. <laughs> what? Look at what comes out of this. Also, I love the square-shaped clouds. What the? Calm, motherfucker. <laughs> Oh, what am I doing? Oh, right, I have to oh go in God, there. That looks sick. It does, right? I like that they took the whole plague doctor and he looks like a bird thing and they made it like super literal. Yeah, I'd like to imagine that every time he opens up his mouth, he's just like. <laughs> <Caw! laughs> oh, am I supposed to be aiming for his mouth? <laughs> Oh, 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 God! Oh, he, hops. <laughs> he got mad hops! Oh, gosh, okay, uh... <laughs> I don't really know what to say here. Oh, God, <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, it heals over time? Of course it does! Okay, uh, lob casing. Uh, what kind of powder? Um... Component powder, yes. Yeah, make big, big booms. Big booms, come on. Big boom, big boom. Big black boots, Boris. Okay, black powder and bounce casing. This is so weird. You have to, like, kind of on the fly, make the, like, combine the different components to make a better bomb. Okay, it's unprotected. Now! Big Black Booms about, uh, Boris! What about, uh, Black Betty here? I prefer Huge Hands Hans. Huge Hands Hans? His name was Hans, and his hands were huge! <laughs> they called him Huge Hands Hans! I go... <laughs> Everywhere I went, he would hit sand in my face! I go to the beach! Sand! The play... The playground! Sand! My office! Sand! <laughs> I swear, Doofenshmirtz's backstories are like the best. Yeah. It's like, it all started the day of my actual birth. Both of my parents failed to show up. Sorry, what? Both of my parents failed to show up. Yeah! <laughs> oh, 
Oh, I did it. On the day of his birth, both of his parents failed to show up. Oh. You did it. The reaction is stabilized. Wow, there it is. The ultimate potion. See, my parents just asked for the receipt. Oh. <laughs> my parents picked me up on Black Friday in the clearance section of Costco. <laughs> Next to the hot dogs. <laughs> you say they bought me in bulk. They have a surplus of them. <laughs> <laughs> There's a bunch of them in the closet. <laughs> well. So whenever one wanders off into the woods, they always have a backup. Yeah, right. <laughs> well, are you going to drink it now? I, I don't think I need it anymore, Mona. <laughs> glug, glug. <laughs> but we must take it with us. It's all I've been working for. My future as an alchemist is riding on it. Wait, I just got an idea. You know how much energy is contained in this potion, right? Yeah, this much boom could easily level the whole tower. And be seen for miles in all directions. Mona, I love the way you think. <laughs> the bigger the explosion, the better the alchemist. Those bumbling townsfolk would throw us a parade. We could practice alchemy anywhere we want. We wouldn't have to hide away anymore. But you're holding a potion that can give you anything you could ever want. Are you sure about this? Guy, I already have everything I could ever want. Let's blow this joint! Testing, testing, one, two, three! <laughs> um, also, can I just say, like, I ship them hard. Oh, totally. There's actually a, a bit of fan art I have saved on my computer of, like, them together. I have a few fan arts of them together, and my favorite is the one titled, A Plague Has Taken Me. What? The dance? They dance, yeah. Okay. That was earlier in the playthrough. They were, like, Mona was doing a little dance by herself, and then Plague Knight pops in, and he's like, Oh, maybe we should do that together sometime. Anywho. <laughs> it's the Troupel! Yeah, we actually never saw him. Yeah. I went, I went to the Troupel pond, he just wasn't there. <laughs> yeah. I like that we actually get to see where everyone is in the end. Yeah. It's like a where are they now segment. Yeah. Actually, did you hear that, uh... I don't know if you saw, but... What's it called? Um... Yacht Club Games is actually doing another Shovel Knight game after this. Oh, really? Yeah, it's called Shovel Knight Dig. And this time it's got, like, 16-bit style graphics. Huh. Yeah. And apparently they've also got a phone game on the way. Eh, Shovel Knight was more just a love letter to old style games, and now they're doing a new style. Yeah. Although yeah, they, yeah. they apparently had a. Uh, it was funny. They had a. They did an April Fool's video titled Shovel Knight '64, and everyone's like, "Oh my gosh, they're gonna do a 3D Shovel Knight!" But no, it was all a prank. <laughs> you got filthy pranked. <laughs> So yeah. <coughs> oh man. I, I enjoyed this uh, quite a bit. This was good. This is that. This one's doing weirdly better than the original Shovel Knight playthrough. Really? Yeah, because this one actually has views past episode three. <laughs> <laughs> Which I was like, I, I still don't get why that one didn't do that well. We've done a f no, we didn't do that. Wasn't the one we d where you did co-op? We I was thinking about doing co-op, but no, no, please, I'm not glad you well, no, because here's the problem: the uh, the Game Grumps did one that was co-op. They did three. They did a normal one, a co-op one, and they did a um, and they did Specter Knight, which was actually one of the reasons why I wanted to do Plague Knight because you know I want I'm pro we're probably gonna do all of them eventually, but like you know. I wanted to, I wanted to do something different. Yeah. <laughs> and plus, like I hit. Oh, Joe! Look at this! Look at this! Do you see that? Aww. They're on a date! I love it! <laughs> I love it! It's great. I swear, in this next segment is like one of the. Re I hate the fact that they don't let us. 
you know, record video off this. Yeah. You're back. You're alive. Wonderful. I'm gonna assume that explosion was your hand. You were damn, I need the controller. <laughs> yep, that crusty old tower was an eyesore anyways. Amazing. I didn't get any rocks thrown at me today. I think the townspeople are actually grateful. Listen, Plague Knight. I know you made all these potions and blew everything up. All to impress me. I'm so flattered. Really, I am. I have to make a confession, though. You're... not my type. I'm so sorry. You see, I've... Fallen for a real man. She's in love with the horse. <laughs> what? Guys, guys, the villagers are all in the juice bar and they want to buy us around. Let's go. Ugh, that sounds lovely, but I think we'll catch up later. There's science to be done, Mona. Let's get started, Plague Knight. There's no telling what we'll brew up next. Yeah, I didn't get I didn't get rocks hooked at me. And now the credits. What a game, guy! I swear, Yacht Club Games, man. The fact that they did like all this DLC and it's all this like quote unquote free. Yeah. I mean, sure. Yeah, I I don't know if you can just buy basic Shovel Knight and just only get the Shovel Knight, but. Why would you? <laughs> yeah. Like, honestly, this is probably one of the biggest bargains you could get on the Switch. Twenty-five dollars nets you the whole, the whole package. All four, all four campaigns, the mini games, the um, showdown, everything. It's like, why yeah, wouldn't that's, you? That's a decent deal. That's a great deal. It's like Hollow Knight levels of deal. Oh yeah, they're they're totally indie. They're like the face of indie. Okay, okay. Actually, Shovel Knight's been like, Shovel Knight's been in so many different games with the cameos. He's it's it's insane. <laughs> like honestly, they have the. Uh... <clears throat> I know he was in, he's been in several indie fighting games, and I know he was in uh, Ukulele. Wait, what? Yeah, he's in Ukulele. <laughs> I don't know, he just kind of shows up. You know, we should play that sometime. Because I, I have loved your whole reaction. All the way through that game. It's like, this game fucking sucks. <laughs> Why are you playing it every game? <laughs> My biggest issue with ukulele is the lack of a map. Yeah, I, I, I just remember you like saying like... Where do I go? <laughs> Not my favorite. No. And I like 3D platformers. I loved a hat in time. I have both Super Mario Galaxies. Like really? Huh. I, I still have to watch the Grumps play through that. Of what? Galaxy 2? Yeah. Oh yeah. It's like on hold right now. Oh really? I think so. They're on like episode nine, and right, right now they're playing Link to the Link's uh, Link's Awakening. No, Link. Uh, Link Between Worlds, the 3DS one. Uh. Oh, okay. oh, cool! They have the the speed run record for Plague Knight. Oh, really? Thirty-eight minutes. Wait, the whole game. The whole game. Any well, person. Well, I think I told you, one of the things I wanted to do was, if we ever started streaming, I wanted to stream, like, uh... Speed... Because there's, like, speedrun achievements of different games. Namely, Shantae, Half-Genie Hero, and Hollow Knight. And I want to try that on a, on, a, on a stream. Yeah. I mean, I, I feel like you have to do it with a game that, like, you've played before. Oh, yeah! You... Well, yeah, you can't do it with one you never played before, because then you don't know anything about the game. You know that's... Yeah. Right. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Total item completion, 65%. Huh. Well, I mean, like, like, that you play a ton of times, just like... Oh, uh, yeah. So, so, so that, like, you also don't ruin the experience for yourself, because I feel like, if you, you know, when you're doing speedrun, you're probably, like, skipping past all of the... Time. Oh, yeah, totally. The cutscenes. Yeah. No, yeah. no, thank you, Yacht Club. No, thank you, Yacht Club. Oh, here it is. Yo, 
you imagine if Yacht Club were just like, screw you? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, gamer. <laughs> Aww. I love it. I love it too. I ship it so hard. I really wish I didn't have the costume on right now. <laughs> what? I, I had like I have the amiibo costume on. I kind of wish I had the normal Plague Knight. I thought that you, you meant you were like dressed up in like a Halloween costume. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why? Yeah, I see. I, I you know, I, I was thinking about cosplaying Plague Knight and like at a convention because I feel like he'd be the easiest one, just because all you need is a plague. All you need is a robe and a Plague Doctor mask and some tights, and then just spray paint the Plague Doctor mask green. I believe we have a Plague Doctor's mask. You do? I don't know if, uh, if you can spray paint it green, though. That's fair. I I'd probably get my own. Considering it's uh, not mine. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that's double the reason. <laughs> <sighs> Alright, so I, that that's all, folks. So we will see you guys in the next playthrough. See ya. Bye!